Hello everybody, welcome to Meek's channel. So today we're doing a pick a card reading. We are seeing um, any physical and or emotional pain that you're having and what your body is trying to tell you. So maybe trying to tell you um, maybe that you need to move on from something, slow down, maybe you need to take some sort of action. So we have three piles. We're gonna start off with pile one as the problem resolved, or you can choose a crystal and we got tiger's eye. And then pile two is beauty, or we got blue calcite. And then pile three is emotional awareness, or we got the crystal, which is amethyst. I just wanted to clarify that if you do feel you need a doctor, I am not a, a doctor or registered nurse or anything. So if you feel like you need to see a doctor, please do that. And this video is for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> so if you guys want to pause the video, and choose whichever pile that you feel most called to. We'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. This is for everybody that chose pile one or problem resolved or the <laughs> tiger's eye crystal. So today we're going to be seeing any physical and or emotional pain that you may be going through right now and um, what your body is trying to tell you. So your thoughts or whatever is going on in your life may definitely manifest into the physical. So this could definitely cause you some type of physical pain. So we are going to start off with the letter or the alphabet oracle deck. And this could be your initials or maybe a word. Um, starting off, sorry. Okay, starting off with the tiger's eye, the tiger's eye crystal helps with protection and bringing in mental clarity so i'm definitely feeling that maybe with this pile you may have difficulties focusing or there may just be something going on where you can't concentrate so let's see dear angels dear guides please show us any emotional or physical pain, what it's trying to tell my pile one, please. Okay, we have G. I'm hearing the word go. Okay, we got J. C, what is going on with my pile one, please? Okay, so we have the name CJ. I think I got that in my last pick of card <laughs> reading that I did on here. The name CJ. Okay, let's see. Another G. So I'm picking up that this, this pile, there may be some type of, you have the card problem resolved, so you may be hoping for something to get resolved, or this could also mean that your guides are wanting you to resolve some type of issue. So let's keep going. More cards, please. Okay, we got L. K. I'm hearing the word milk. So maybe taking vitamins would help. Um, there could be something with your bones. We have you. Someone may have 
broken a bone or fractured a bone. We have H. I see Hulk, so yeah, you could have pushed yourself really hard with something. Or you're just trying to get through something. But I don't feel like where you're at is a very comfortable spot. We have X. Every time I get this X, this may be, this may like represent someone from your past or a situation from your past. Or maybe like a ex love interest, ex friend, ex family member. Oh, we got E, so we literally have the word X now. And the last one is O. Yeah, again, I'm seeing the word go. So this may mean you need to move on from something. I'm getting two, just two different scenarios right now. Either you need to move on to something new or away from something or you're pushing yourself too hard. So now we're going to do, I made a little um, pieces of paper with different, different words and parts of your body. So we're going to pick some of those out and I can see exactly what problems you may be having <laughs> and I couldn't find a box so I just put it in next <laughs> okay pile one please not gonna try and look okay we got hands so you may ha be having issues with your hands you may have like shaky hands or very cold hands, maybe a poor circulation in your hands. Let's see what else. I'm not looking at these. <laughs> okay, let's see. We have teeth. Yeah, I'm picking up a nervous energy, so whatever physical thing that you're having or emotional pain that you're having right now has to do with some kind of stress yes we have rash so you may be getting you may have a rash someone may have eczema I, or i'm hearing like a mysterious rash that just showed up we're gonna pull a couple more for pile one okay we got two more so we have acne, so you may be having a hard time getting rid of some acne, or maybe you just had acne for a very long time. And we also have throat, and I heard throat chakra, so there may be something that you need to speak up on. Alright, so that's what I'm seeing for that. Then we're going to move into the tarot cards to see what we can pick up. And then at the end, we're going to pull a chakra card. And that'll be an affirmation that you can repeat. You can take a screenshot of it and repeat it. So let's see. What's going on with my pile one's physical? emotional pain what's it trying to tell me first let's see what is it what is this physical or emotional pain okay we have prince of swords yeah i'm feeling a lot of worry this definitely could be regarding i'm hearing your workplace or another person someone is worried that this person may not come back to them or there could be a maybe you're having a problem with a person and you're wondering if it'll be resolved you have the star yeah you're not sure the outcome of this situation so it's causing 
definitely like stress in your body. This may also be causing headaches or migraines. Could also be affecting your sleeping. We got Queen of Cups. Okay, so I'm seeing you or this person or the situation. Well, not the situation. <laughs> you or maybe this person could be a Cancer sign. Also seeing Earth right now. I'm hearing that you may be worried about the future of your life just in general. You're not sure maybe where your life is headed or what to expect. You have Four of Cups. There could be things that are coming towards you, but it doesn't... You may be waiting for like one certain thing to show up, but that one certain thing that you have your mind on hasn't showed up. Someone is like enrolling in school and waiting for like a certain university to get back to them, but they haven't yet. So it's causing you stress. Okay, what is it telling my pile one? There's something that you need to speak up about. Because I heard throat chakra in the beginning. We have King of Cups in reverse. You may need to speak up for yourself because there's someone in your environment that has been like mistreating you. We have a Prince of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you're feeling very unstable with where you're at. You may also be avoiding this issue or just trying not to think about it too much. But I'm seeing for most of you, if there's a way that you can communicate to this person or communicate just in general to fix the situation, they're saying to do that. They also want you to journal or maybe talk to someone, maybe a therapist or just a friend or a family member and to get outside. Yeah, I'm hearing I have my hands trapped. So you feel like you can't move forward. Okay, um, let's ask advice. Any more advice? Also, drinking more water will help you. Even a detox. Especially if you've been thinking about doing a detox. Like, maybe one of those juice or smoothie ones. Or just, I'm hearing, like, going vegan or vegetarian, even for, like, a month. I feel like this will make you feel a lot better. They're saying to avoid junk food and really avoid any any type of caffeine or like energy drinks because that's like amplifying this stressed energy and it's causing more of whatever this physical or maybe emotional pain. This could definitely be you just having anxiety. I also want you to, I heard, take a day off, so you could be working a lot. For someone, you've been working so much that you haven't had a day off. You haven't asked for a day off, and that's like what's causing all of this. It's because you're not speaking and act, 
asking for a day off. There's definitely a blockage with your throat chakra, so doing any throat chakra meditations will help. Um, I believe the throat chakra is blue, so maybe eating like blue foods. I think you could eat like like blueberries. Um, <laughs> trying to figure out if I can think of any more blue foods. Hold on, let me look up some throat chakra foods or maybe things that you can do. Because I'm sensing that you're not feeling confident in yourself with speaking maybe what you want. Okay, uh, foods to eat. You have blueberries, blackberries, uh, you can drink coconut water, herbal teas, raw honey, lemon. Symptoms of blockage, lack of control over one's speech. Uh, maybe you're having a poor time listening to others. Um, excessive fear of speaking. Yeah, I feel like there's a fear of communicating for sure. Okay, I'm even hearing like, um, maybe just going in front of the mirror and like practicing what you want to say to this person or maybe what you're going to do in this situation, like kind of act it out before you go do it. That may give you more confidence as well. Or even like practice what you're going to say with a friend. Let me pull one more card. Okay, we have the lovers in reverse. Yeah, there's something that needs to change. And only you have the power to change it with your communication. This could even be just like maybe writing a letter or just speaking your mind on something. If this is if this doesn't have to do with like a certain situation or a certain person, this may just be like in general, you need to be open and honest with your feelings in your life. Cause you're keeping a lot in, especially a lot of your worries. So other people don't even know that this is going on with you. Also hearing a helping hand, so if you're able to ask someone else for help, this will also help with any pain or problems that you're facing right now. And then last, we're going to do a Chakra Wisdom card for Pile 1. Also, wearing a tiger's eye would help you. I feel like grounding your energy as well. Alright, this is the card that we got. It says, Seventh Chakra, Crown Chakra, Meditation and Silence. I sit still in meditation regularly. <laughs> oh my god, I can't talk. As I know there is power in silence, I seek out stillness during some part of every day. In the silence, I am open to receive without asking and without expectation. In the silence, I will hear and see the truth. Rest, tranquility, and peace are rejuvenating to my spirit. Miraculously emotional, mental, and physical healing are available when I'm open to receive. Yeah, so there's needing to be um, like quieting your mind because <laughs> I do feel like you're overthinking a lot. Um, and also taking a break out, like I said, taking a rest, taking a day off. 
um, maybe just doing something relaxing for yourself or getting your mind off of things. I'm seeing a vision of someone drinking or smoking, so maybe that's what you like doing. So they're saying to do that. But yeah, that's what I'm seeing for pile one. Hope that resonated for you guys. If you're interested in a personal reading, the link is down below. We'll see you guys later. Bye. This is for everybody that chose pile two or the beauty or the blue calcite. So today we're going to be seeing um, any physical or emotional pain and what it is trying to tell you. Okay, so starting with this pile, I feel like someone definitely may smoke weed. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start with the Alphabet Oracle deck and then move into Tarot and then we're gonna do a Chakra Wisdom card. So this may be your initials or a word for this reading. Okay, physical pain or emotional pain. What's going on with pile two? I'm hearing eating, so there may be something with your eating. You could have stomach problems. You could just have a hard time digesting things. Um, you may also have a something going on with your skin. Someone may have an eating disorder. Someone may sweat a lot or their hands may be very sweaty. Maybe you're getting hot flashes. Could also be something going on with like your hip area. Okay, letters for pile two. Alright, we have K. We have I. You may be trying to go on a diet or thinking about going on a diet. Someone may be having troubles losing weight or gaining weight. We have Q. Okay, we have IQ. I feel like the, for this pile, okay, we have the beauty card, so you may definitely be trying to change your appearance some way because you don't feel like maybe you're good enough. We have H. There's a part of you that doesn't feel like you're deserving of things. You may also have issues going on with your hair, hair loss. Uh, we got C. <laughs> yeah, someone in this group definitely smokes. Okay, we have B. Another C, we got a G, I do feel like there is a imbalance in maybe your root or sacral chakra, so I may also have like a dragonfly tattoo or a butterfly tattoo. Again, there's someone that may be trying to lose a lot of weight and has and is having problems. Or this could have been in the past you tried to lose a lot of weight. We have W. Yeah, I heard weight gain. What's going on? Pile two, we have a V.
So I may be having pregnancy issues. Also feels like whatever's going on is connected to your feminine side. And we have J. Okay, so that's the letters that I'm seeing. And then we're going to move into the tarot and see exactly what's going on. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. Um, so I made like little slips of paper with different like body parts. So we're going to get more in depth and see if we can figure out exactly what's going on with you or what problems you may be having. Okay, we have hands. You may have felt called to pile one as well. Acne. We have that in pile one too. Nose. Yeah, I was definitely feeling something with the nose. So maybe some type of nose issue. Maybe having, I heard back acne or just acne in general. Um, your hands. You may have like very achy hands or you have like sore wrists or your fingers ache a lot. Maybe you have arthritis in your hands. You have a neck. I heard stiff neck. This could happen quite a lot, like when you wake up, you have like a stiff neck. Okay, I guess we're going to take all of these. So we got shooting pain. This may also be shooting pain in your hands. I'm seeing shooting pain in like the upper part of your body for someone. Or this may be like in random spots all over your body that you're getting shooting, random shooting pain. Okay, we have lower legs, so like your calf muscles. Maybe getting shooting pains down there. Or I'm seeing cramps. Or someone could have even like fractured their leg or broke it or something. We have numbness. That could be happening in the lower legs. There's definitely something maybe going on with your arms or hands. And you may also be getting headaches. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for that. Then we're going to move into the tarot and see what your body is trying to tell you. For this pile, I'm feeling tiredness as well. So you may just feeling very fatigued or maybe there's something going on with your sleeping. Um, you could have narcolepsy or constantly feeling drained. All right, we got Prince of Wands. What's going on with pile two? This pile kind of feels like pile one, so if you felt called the pile one, please go check that out. We have strength. Yeah, I'm picking up an energy that there's either someone in your life or this could have been like multiple things that have happened where you just don't feel that you're good enough or you don't fit into society. You definitely may do things to change your appearance up or to try and look good all the time, but whatever you do, it just doesn't feel like it really works. 
We have Princess of Pentacles. Yeah, you may be like buying nice clothes, getting your hair done, um, going on diets. But it feels like you're just hiding this pain of not feeling good enough. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles, but then we got Three of Cups reversed. You don't feel happy with yourself, that's what I'm seeing. This one may have depression. You feel like you just have to keep working or you have to look good all the time or you have to say the right things all the time like i'm getting that you feel like you need to almost be a certain way or i'm hearing also be perfect maybe you feel like you have to act different around certain people to fit in with them we have five of cups reversed The lovers, this could definitely be something around your love life. Maybe you haven't had like a deep connection with anyone or a relationship with anyone. So you just don't feel like you're good enough. Okay. Um... <laughs> I'm hearing please yourself or pleasure yourself, so I feel like finding things that you really enjoy and that makes you feel alive is what will help whatever this is, because it feels like what you're doing right now isn't the true authentic you. You're like... You're trying to fit in or it's almost like you're putting on a mask you're masking up how you're really unhappy with where you're at we have princess of swords reverse yeah princess of wands so they want you to get into this very like creative energy i'm definitely seeing that um, okay, this is like 18 plus, but if you haven't, like, masturbated or <laughs> done that in a while, they want you to, like, find what pleases you in the bedroom and start doing things to make you feel good. And I feel like it needs to be more emotionally and not not so much physically because I do feel like you're maybe very focused on your physical appearance or feels like you're just focused more on the 3D but they want you to focus more on like your emotional health and being happy in your own skin yeah, there needs to be this big change of you moving into things that that make you happy. I'm hearing that this may be literally moving away from people or on moving on from something. For someone, this is like you needing to move away from like maybe a family or some type of friend group because they're very focused on the 3D and how they look and stuff so it's kind of like rubbing off on you so they want you to get out of that way of thinking okay someone on here is trying to get pregnant but they're having a hard time
The reason why you may be having a hard time is that you feel like you won't be a good parent. So they want you to figure out why you don't feel like you would be a good parent to your child. Seeing that there's just some kind of blockage where you feel like you wouldn't be the best or maybe you feel like you don't have the best things for your children. I'm hearing making it by, like maybe you won't have the best finances, you won't be able to give them the life that they need. I'm seeing that you will, you just need to stay positive. Yeah, this group has like, or this pile has like a, a side of them where they get into very negative thoughts of themselves. So they want you to, your angels want you to get out of that. And start, start telling yourself like what you love about yourself, not what you don't love about yourself. With these physical symptoms that you're having, I feel like this is both like stress and also things that are like trying to aware you or like, not aware, but like I'm trying to think of the right word, like get you to notice that you're not happy. You may also just feel like numb in general, like you're just going through life with no emotions. And again, they want you to find what makes you happy. This could even be like going back to your childhood and seeing what you used to love and doing that again. Yeah, definitely something with a child, so... Let's say when you were a kid, you loved, I don't know, going <laughs> and playing outside with bugs or something. Maybe you just need to go like to a, a hiking path and just go out and be in nature for a while. Or, I don't know, maybe get a, a pet bug or something. <laughs> they want you to do things that would just like make you laugh and bring you joy. And get away from people that are making you feel like this as well. Okay, so we're going to do the chakra wisdom card. So this is going to be an affirmation that you can repeat. So you can take a screenshot of it. And this is also the chakra that may be unbalanced. So let's see for pile two. Two, please. Yes, exactly. I was saying the base chakra or the root chakra. Okay, so this is located at the bottom, like the bottom of you. <laughs> Just Google it if you don't know where it is. Um, so it says, as I observe in nature, growth takes time. This is a time for reflection, persistence, and surrender as things unfold at their own pace. I remain calm and tolerant during any challenging times. I develop quiet hope and expectations based on trust both in myself and in a higher power. So definitely working on your root chakra will help you a lot. Um, also eating red foods and just telling yourself that you're good enough, I really feel, because you are. I'm trying to see if I can think of anything else. Um, yeah, and definitely taking time in nature. I feel like there's a need for you to get out of your surroundings. 
So if you've been feeling that way or if you go like around a friend or a family group or just a group of people and as soon as you get around that group you start feeling very stressed or um, maybe you feel depressed or there's just like an emotion that pops up and it's not like feeling happy and excited. They're saying that that's like a sign from your guide saying that this group that you're around or these people or even just a person that you're around is not someone you should be around all the time, especially because it is affecting your mental health. So that's what I'm saying for pile two. Hope that resonated for you guys and I'll see you later. Bye. So everybody that chose pile three or environmental awareness or the amethyst crystal crystal oh my goodness i can't talk today okay so first we're going to be doing the alphabet oracle so this could be your initials or maybe a word that may resonate for this pile and we are going to be seeing um oh my goodness uh, any physical and or emotional pain and what your body is trying to tell you. So for this pile, I feel like you're maybe very aware of your surroundings. Also seeing that you may be trying to avoid certain people or certain situations. Okay, someone may have problems with their eyes. Their vision could be getting bad or maybe you could have just needed glasses. It's also something with your throat. So I'm definitely having a hard time talking. This pile could also feel very tired. It could be depression. Okay, we got Z. Yeah, that makes me think of like sleeping. So you may be having a hard time sleeping or like sleeping like a lot. We have I. B. I feel like there's something that happened maybe in the recent past that you're like keeping your eye out for because you feel like it might happen again. You also may feel like you have a hard time like being around other people. You have N. Or like you don't fit in very good. W. I see win and I heard win at all costs. So there could have been like a, a person that you knew or that you know of right now that wants to win at all costs and did something to you and now you're like on edge or just not even on edge just keeping an eye out for this person you have a m yeah wham Like you're waiting for something to happen or someone to attack. We have J. For things to go bad again. Q. K. Is the name Jacob or Jake?
Also heard Watertown. <laughs> Maybe that's what your city's called or something. Uh, L. You may also live by a lake or watch basketball, I'm seeing. I heard Mesmerize. Okay, so let's get into the tarot. Or wait, let's get into, I keep forgetting, oh my goodness, um, the little letter, or not letter, the little <laughs> slips of paper that I made and I wrote down like different parts of your body so we could see like exactly what's going on. And I couldn't find a box so I just put it in like this. Let's see what's going on with pile three. Three, I'm not gonna look at it. Okay, we have face. Yeah, I was definitely feeling like eyes or there's something going on with your face. I'm trying to see if I can pick up anything else. Someone's getting like cold sores or like something with their mouth. Okay. Oh, look at all this. It's like facial things we have, or things on your your head. So we have teeth. Not on your head, but oh my gosh, you can't even talk. Okay, we have nose. So we may have like a broken nose or maybe a hard time smelling things. Hair loss. It's going on with pile three. Digestive problems I'm hearing. And we got chest, so you could have asthma or a hard time breathing, feel out of breath when you do like a little activity. You may also be getting just pains in your chest or even like on your upper back joints. So there may be a problem with your joints, maybe stiff joints. Also hearing popping joints. Yeah, back. I just said there may be a problem with your back. So it may have scoliosis or have to wear like something to support their back. And taste. Yeah, there's definitely some, there could be something with your senses as well. So maybe you're hearing, smelling, tasting. You could have had the COVID. Maybe this is like the aftermath of it. Okay, so let's look into the tarot and see what's going on with pile three. I definitely feel like this pile has been through some shit. So now your body may be in like survival mode. Or maybe you just haven't felt like that for such a long time. So what's going on with pile three? Someone may have brown hair. Or literally look like this lady. You could have also had an injury at the gym or an injury from something that caused you to need to rest for a while or take a break. I also heard wrinkles. So maybe you're noticing like a lot of wrinkles or rashes or like something with your skin but i feel like it's in an area where other people can see it okay we have two of cups reversed the empress reversed yeah i'm seeing that someone like betrayed you this could have been like multiple people or again just something that you've been 
living with is people not being honest with you. So you have a hard time trusting others. We have temperance in reverse. Seven of Cups reverse. Yeah, you may be avoiding people in general. Avoiding making deep connections. Um, with the physical or the emotional pain that's going on. I don't know if I already said this, but someone may have depression or anxiety or like both. Or also seeing bipolar and schizophrenia. But I feel like for... Things that maybe people are able to see like on your your face or like that people are able to take notice of. It's like trying to bring how do I word this? <laughs> it's like trying to it's like spirit trying to get you to maybe open up more because there may also be other people that are suffering with what you're going through. So they want you maybe to share your story. Definitely seeing someone may be having like a really hard time with hair loss. And I feel like you may find some kind of treatment or maybe even like acne or something to help with whatever's going on. And... Um, they want you to share that with other people because I feel like there's other people that are going through that. And this is like a way for spirit to get you to kind of connect with others. It's almost like you don't want attention, but then whatever may be happening is like giving you the attention that you don't want. For those that are having like joint issues or feeling out of breath like the chest issues um, or something with your nose and tasting your senses. I feel like this is from you taking out a lot of stress and you're not sure how to release it or how to trust people again. Okay, let's look farther into this. We have the star. I heard connection with others, so this, whatever's going on, it's like there's an issue with connecting with others. You feel like you, you can't, you can't trust people. But this is causing you stress because you feel like you can't trust other people. And you can't have a genuine connection, so you're like hiding yourself. Especially your, your heart chakra. I feel like it may be on balance. We have nine of cups. I feel like you've been doing so good without people that you don't need anyone. But your subconscious is like telling you that maybe you need help with something or that this is something that you subconsciously think about, is that you don't really have anyone in your life, or at least you feel like you don't. You feel like you're alone. Three of Pentacles. It definitely could have been like a love interest that betrayed you, or maybe a third party situation. So now you're like scared to get into another love connection. Now we got the moon card. Someone may be a Cancer sign, a Leo. 
paired Sagittarius, Gemini. Okay, let's ask advice. Advice for pile three. Heard you feel like you don't need this. So people or it's like something you feel like you don't need, but again, your subconscious is telling you that you do kind of want it, but you're like denying it. We have Ace of Cups. Yeah, intimacy, love. You may not be feeling like you're loved in general. That people just... Or maybe you give off the wrong intentions or people give you the wrong intentions or... Okay, so, sorry, for the advice, I'm seeing that um, there definitely could be something significant that happened in the past that you need to forgive so that you're able to move on. And I do feel like this will help whatever emotional or physical problems that you're having. Because I do feel like you're holding on to the pain from the past. Or if not the situation, you're just holding on to maybe feeling lonely and that no one will love you. Yeah, Queen of Swords, you may feel like a lot of people around you are like energy vampires, very dishonest. You could also be a very picky person when it comes to connections or you're very picky with who you talk to, who you're around. For someone, you may have like literally gotten rid of everyone in your life and now you feel like you won't get any connections back. But, okay, what I'm hearing is that if you did this, if you like kind of cleared out all the old people that happened for a reason because there's like new people that will come in and actually be honest with you and loyal to you but for them to do that you need to open up your heart again and forgive whatever happened in the past Definitely for those that are having like joint problems, maybe muscle problems. It's like you're holding a lot in, so it's affecting the muscles and the joints. The hair loss is like the stress, um, facial things. If you have like acne, I feel like that stress and worry that you won't find someone, the teeth. Uh, maybe you feel insecure about your smile I'm hearing or there could be something going on with your teeth. It's like I heard you, you're not able to comprehend what has happened. So I feel like there's a need for you to heal from the past. The chest again is related to like stress issues, feeling stressed and worried. Uh, taste, not not being able to fully experience the present moment, and then for any back issues, it's like taking on so much emotionally that it's like putting maybe pressure or just putting a lot on your back, so it feels like you're carrying a lot. So definitely journaling, let's ask for advice. Journaling will help, talking to someone will help. Um, even like just doing uh, heart chakra meditations. I also feel like maybe root chakra meditations. 
maybe starting small and like going out somewhere and just talking to one person or just saying like hey what's up or just hi how's your day going like doing something small like that just to get yourself out there again uh even like involving yourself in maybe a group activity or a group class Okay, we got four of pentacles. Yeah, they want you to get out of your comfort zone. Definitely if you're single, they want you to get back out there and start talking to people again. But they really want you to focus on healing from the past because I really see that is what is affecting you in the physical. So maybe Googling like shadow work that you can do. I'm trying to think what else. Um, hearing a new hobby. Someone may like going to shooting ranges or oh, maybe doing something very physical. So maybe going to the gym, um, doing boxing, maybe joining like a fight club or something. There may be like a need for you to be very physical and let this anger and this stress out physically. I also feel that making goals for yourself in the near future would help you as well because then you'll see where you're going and you'll start focusing more on that and not so much of the past. So we are going to pull a chakra card. So these are affirmations, so you can take a screenshot of it and repeat it daily if you'd like. And this is going to be your chakra that needs some balancing <laughs> for pile three, please. <laughs> they also want you to sleep more if you're not getting enough rest. <laughs> Okay, we need one card, please. <laughs> one, please. For pile three. Yeah. Yep, okay, we got two cards for you guys. So I did bring up the heart chakra. And I think I brought up the root chakra as well. So we have both of those. Okay, the heart chakra one. This is what it looks like, so you guys can take sorry, a screenshot if you'd like. And then this is the base chakra or the root chakra. Okay, so the heart chakra one says compassion and forgiveness, literally what I said. Okay, I have compassion for myself and for those around me. I let go of anger, resentment, and torments from the past i do not give my power away to those involved forgiveness is a gift i give to myself i forgive myself for things i feel i could have done differently in the past i remind myself that my response could not have been any more evolved than it was at the time i am compassionate to those in need as this shows them that they are not alone I practice this by listening, sharing, and understanding, and being of service. I also heard maybe volunteering would help as well, or doing something to like give to your community. But yeah, there's a need for you to forgive. Um, maybe you're holding on to maybe some pain because you felt like you could have done something differently in a situation. Again, the past is the past. There's nothing that you can do about it. You can only just move on and move on to better things. So let's see what this card says. This card says, independence. I know what my needs are and I actively pursue them knowing that I will be guided and provided for when I put in the effort. I open myself to all possibilities and participate fully in life. I use my imagination and my vision to initiate what I wish for and I pursue it. I am not waiting to be rescued. I am not a victim. I am strong. 
so you may feel like you're a victim of something or you may just be having a hard time like moving on again or you may just be having a hard time feeling alone but again you're never alone your guides are always with you they're always guiding you so just know that you're not alone <laughs> so that's what i'm seeing for pile three hope that resonated for you guys if you're interested in a personal reading link is down below i do have 20 percent off all february and yeah i'll see you guys later bye